Hi, my artist, Miss Pratt here, and today we are going to do a short video on how to draw a braid. So this is normally something that my girls ask me when they're drawing people, but my boys are welcome to watch this too. They may want to learn how to draw braided hair. Um, so I'm going to use a pencil and I have my markers. If I were you, I would start with the pencil. And the reason is, this is a little bit tricky, so you want to be able to erase in case you make a mistake, okay? So I'm going to have my paper like this. It doesn't really matter which way you have it, though. You could turn it this way if you want a long braid. I'm going to keep it like this, though, because I just want to start with a short one. And what we're going to do to start with is we're going to draw four lines with our pencil. Now, before you do that, I need you to watch what I'm doing first, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four lines that angle in, okay, kind of like a triangle, and I'm going to go over them, darken them up some so you can see them. I'm going to do another one, and again, they're angling in towards this, almost like there's an imaginary dot there that they're angling towards, and that one's a little too wide. Now you want to be drawing lighter than I am just because um, you want to be able to race. I'm just trying to draw dark enough that you can see what I'm doing, okay? All right, and then our last line is gonna go right next to the other line. All right, so we've got our four lines <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is we are gonna have to crisscross, okay? So I'm doing this upside down, so you're gonna have to forgive me if it takes me a little bit longer. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go from one side all the way over, you skip this middle line, all the way over, okay? Now you're gonna come above it, right to this corner, and you're gonna draw a line that almost intersects. Each line is gonna go to the not the second line, but the third line. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and you're just gonna keep doing that. So to start with, what we can do is we can do all of this side first. So we're gonna kind of space them out. But if you've braided hair a lot, you know that as it gets closer to the end of the ponytail, your braid gets smaller and closer together. Okay, so you can be doing that. Now, notice I'm still making mine all in pencil, okay? I'm gonna go back over in marker in just a minute. So right now, that's what yours should look like. You should have one side completely done. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and we're gonna intersect from the other side, okay? So we're gonna angle over to that line. And remember, it's almost like a dot right here where it touches. Okay, so right now, mine is done with my lines here. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna get my marker so you can see it better, but you all can still be using your pencils, okay? So what we're gonna do is we have to make the curve on the outside, actually I'm gonna use brown so it looks more like how most people's hair does. Most people have brown hair, not black hair. So it's got a curve on each of those sections, it curves, okay? So what I'm doing is on the outside of each of these lines, I'm adding a little curve to it, okay? Just like an actual braid does. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and trace the last lines we do. I'm not doing the four lines, I'm tracing the other lines, okay? 
So the lines that we drew the most recently, not the four lines going down. Okay. All right, now I'm going to add one more row here, goes in, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of tie it off. All right, so I'm going to get a different color marker. I'm going to use a red because it'll show up nice. I'm going to add a little semicircle around here so it looks like a hair bow. And then I'm going to draw the end of my hair going off the paper, okay? Just like that. Okay, so what I have to do now is I have to go back with my eraser and erase those other lines I made. Janine, can you please come to the office? Janine, please come to the office. All right, so I'm erasing those four lines that I made. Now, if you notice with mine, my pencil lines aren't totally erasing. That's because I press so hard, okay? So hopefully you didn't press that hard. You didn't have a reason to. So hopefully yours will erase better than mine are. Okay. Right. So now I can go back and I can work on finishing this up. So we're gonna take this line all the way across this empty one that's not really connected to anything. We're gonna take it and connect it to the other side. All right, so there's your braid. Now you just have to go and add your color. So if you color it all brown, it won't show up that well, but you could add some dark spots like with your black. So I'm gonna do one side of my braid with some black on it. And then I'm gonna do the other side with probably some yellow in it to make it look like highlights. Do my highlights on the other side. braid colored in. I'm going to go back and mix it in with my black.
And really what I could do is I know they've got some really cool um, braids with hair dye now. Um, you could make yours festive, uh, red and green. I've seen some really pretty teal colored hair. So you could decide what color you're going to have your hair be. You could mix in with your braid. I think I'm going to mix some orange in here. So now you're going to know if you need to draw a braid, you know what you have to do to make it. Now it is kind of time consuming. It's a little bit difficult, but now you know how to. And you can also show other people. So my braid is almost done, and it is a crazy colored braid, and that is okay. I wanted it to be something interesting. my braid. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, hopefully I'll see you for our next project. All right, bye!